Hey, we just had a lightning storm flash through. It struck really close by, so we're on fire watch right now. And yes, we do have a fire within just about three to four miles from the homestead, maybe three miles. Stay tuned, I'll give you more details. Hey folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, Sunday afternoon, a lightning storm swept through our little valley here. Actually, it swept through the whole region and set several fires. We've got crews on those several fires right now. And uh, a lot of the fires are being put out just by local residents. Um, but these wilderness fires, we have a wilderness fire burning just uh, three miles to the north of us and there's another one about nine miles to the north of us so that's two wildfires that broke out just through this one uh, lightning storm within a 10 mile radius of the homestead now we average three wildfires per year every single year within a 10 mile radius of the homestead well this is these are the first two this year so far this year we've had a very subtle as hot as it's been a subtle uh, fire uh, outbreak around here and especially with that arsonist back on the 4th of July deliberately starting fires in our neighborhoods the residents managed to snuff out those flames so as far as us on our homestead we're as prepared as we can be right now we've got a fire break right here this is our egress getting off the property in case the fire gets close then we can just like uh, get in the vehicle and get the heck out of Dodge Cleared out all the uh, uh, burnable debris away from all the uh, dwellings. That's the best I could do. We're going to set sprinklers out and get those positioned and staged and get ready to turn them on if we have to. This lightning storm did bring some rain in our vicinity, so it dampened things down quite a bit. And that will help the fire lay down and give the crews a chance to get in there, hammer on the flames, and uh, get the fire snuffed out. Now I do advocate carrying at least a five gallon bucket of water in your vehicle at all times with a shovel. So if you happen to cross a, uh, a, a fire, a roadside fire, which they happen, you can uh, try to suppress it uh, the best you can. And I also advocate carrying a fire extinguisher just like this one. We have this fire extinguisher posted here in case we have a problem with uh, getting out of the driveway. We can grab that, put a little flame out, and then just go ahead and sneak our way past it. So that's one, uh, several op options that you can lay before you in preparation for wildfires but we're dealing with this wildfire right now i don't know all the details of it i will update you guys in a uh, in a tomorrow uh in a special i'll do an update on the wildfires because this is wildfire season and it's uh, a lot of my neighbors uh, they do want to know what's going on uh, this particular fire is real close by it's three miles to the north of us i'm going to get on google maps and find out the exact distance from the homestead. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm with a special uh, uh, episode on wildfires and wildfire preparedness. Stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That will let you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up. Share our videos on your social media platforms. Helps us out a lot. Also, if you would, please be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode, okay? Bye-bye.